everyone, this is Altone and welcome to the channel. So check it out. Today I'm going to do an unboxing and a quick review of the Kazori. Kazori? I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Kazori? Kazori? Something like that. <laughs> air, uh, air fryer. And I've never owned an air fryer before and I will tell you up front that this was sent to me for me to do a review on. And so, but of course, my reviews are gonna be absolute honest and truthful, exactly what I think about it. With the understanding that this is the absolute first air fryer that I've ever used. So we're gonna see if we can make some French fries today um, in this air fryer and see how they, how they turn out. But let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box. I Okay, so here we have our, our user's manual. Let's see, there's really not a, not a lot in this box. It's basically the air fryer itself, the user manual, and recipe book. Hope you love our new air fryer as much as we do. <laughs> so that's pretty much everything that comes in the box. Uh, I'm sure there's some pieces inside in which we'll need to uh, take out and check it out. On the top here, there's some instructions. So on the front here it says before you get started to to uh, there's some plastic inside make sure you pull out all, and separate all the, the baskets on the countertop and remove all plastic before plugging it in so we're going to go ahead and do that take these off it's a nice little red color i know uh, i'm pretty sure there's a black one as well but the one they sent me was red which was cool and so when you open it up, there's some cardboard inside. You have to take that out. And this, this whole tray has got uh, plastic and stuff in it. So we have to take all of this out. Ah, there we go. So there's a little button here that you have to push down to pull, up, pull this up. And so that's the basket. And then another piece of cardboard there. And then drop this back down in here, and it locks in place. I guess you put that over top so you can't you can't lift it out. Just this um, protective, or some type of protection for it. There we go. Be careful not to cut your finger. And let's see what this stuff is. Okay. Okay, get these off. Make sure that they're not going there. And these little guys, let's see what these are. Pop those out. To simply make some, <laughs> that thing shot all the way over here. Simply make some french fries. I don't think we're gonna need all of this stuff, but it's gonna be nice. And thankfully we got enough cabinet space we can store it when we're not using it. But okay, it looks like some little skewer, skewers. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what I'd be using them for just yet, but we'll find out, I'm sure. Well, it's been done. We went and made some fries for the very first time with this bad boy. Good. I'm gonna have to say, for my very first time ever using an air fryer, eh, it was okay. Um, I think uh, it's gonna take some time for me to get used to how to use it properly. Today I'm sweating right now because I put too much pepper on those fries that I created, but uh, that I cooked in this air fryer but I, I really am looking forward to using this a little bit more over the next couple of days i'll probably be using it some more and if i do so prior to um putting this video out, i will actually share some of the things that i actually fixed 
uh, with you. One thing I like about it, of course, is that it seems as if it is going to um, be a lot healthier cooking rather than frying in a in a in just in a vat of grease, basically. Which is one of the things I really really do uh, expect to work very well for us. But um, one of the things I don't like about it is that it's taking up counter space. To be honest, I just don't like taking up a whole lot of counter space. I hope this little review and unboxing and that, that kind of thing kind of at least gave you an idea of what comes in the box and, and, and kind of what my thoughts are of it. I do believe it's going to be a great addition. However, uh, it may take a little bit of time to really get used to learning how to use it. So um, that's pretty much it. Uh, if I did do some additional um, cooking with the air fryer. You'll see that in just a second. So for a quick update on the air fryer. So we have had it for, for a little bit. It's taken me some time to get this video edited and it has been working very well. And the cookbook that it comes with, I have to say, is pretty good. Um, the one thing I would tell you is this. Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't really done a lot of searching to see if they make larger air fryers than this one. But um, I do believe that uh, if they do, it's probably a really good idea for <laughs> to have a larger air fryer than a 3.7 uh, quart. You, it's, it's just, you barely get enough uh, cooking for, for two people out of this. I actually cut a couple of pieces of, of beef here that I'm getting ready to put into the air fryer. Mm, smells really good. I'm going to cook that up and show you what it looks like and tell you how it tastes and all that kind of good stuff. So as always, one of the things that you're really gonna to wanna to do is you're going to want to uh, preheat this bad boy. Depending on what you're cooking, cookbook will tell you um, at what temperature to, to preheat your air fryer at. But I, I'll just you preheat it at 400 every single time. That's just what I do. And then like for this beef that I'm getting ready to cook right here, I'll be using a beef setting. And then usually what I do is once it finishes, I'll check it. I'll actually cut into a piece, make sure it's done all the way through. Because uh, I do, I eat all of my meats well done. And this bad boy will absolutely cook it um, exactly the way you want it. Got it warmed up or preheated. And of course that meat sizzles as soon as you put it in there. I got those two pieces, that's enough for, for me for the night. And go ahead and start it up. Beef, six minutes. Wow, really? If you want to adjust the temperature or the time, you can tap the temp and the time button and it will allow you to adjust. For beef, it's telling me 400. I'm going to actually do, lower that to set. Ah. If you do accidentally hit the power button because you're thinking it's going to start it, you can um, turn it back, <laughs> just turn it back on and it's still going to be set at whatever you changed it to. And there we go. Seven, that's, that was after about seven minutes at 350 degrees. And like I said, I like my meats well done. So we're going to take this bad boy, I don't know how I'm going to do this and try to cut it. And it's about to come up a storm. Um, I just, just check to make sure it is done all the way through. But if not, I'll put it back in there for another couple of minutes. That's a, that is a juicy piece of steak. And it is just about, I mean, that's, I mean, that's pretty much done. Look how much juice is coming off of it. So I'm going to go ahead. So we're just going to let this thing go just a couple more minutes. And check it out. But I mean, it, that's, that's pretty good. So again, we're talking 350 for about 10 minutes. Um, should cook that beef, seasoned beef, almost all the way through. And it was about a half inch thick um, before I put it in there. Maybe eh, a quarter inch to a half inch thick um, piece of nice, juicy steak. Okay, since I took it out to check it, I went ahead and let it run just a little bit longer. So we're gonna pause this bad boy. You can hear it. See, see. There she is. 
Okay, now I'm gonna have to uh, put the phone down. So now I took the other piece out and cut it. And I cut it around the thickest part. And it looks well done. Mm. I have to say I seasoned this perfectly. That, my friend, is a good piece of steak. Mm. Just can't get it, can't get enough. Well done and juicy. That's awesome. Uh, let me know what your comments are down in the comment section below and I look forward to doing another uh, another review video very for you again very very soon. Have a fantastic fantastic day.